Hi everyone, just wanted to do a short video on some uh, tricks and tips that I found useful to survive self-isolation. So uh, last week I got that dreaded uh, alert from Track and Trace to say that I had to self-isolate for a week. And it, it you know, gave me some concerns to start with, you know, having got used to being back in the office after such a long period of time out of it, to then go back to self-isolating um, wasn't something I was looking forward to, but here's some tips that I used to get me through it and hopefully they'll be useful to you. So to start with, you know, use a positive mindset. Uh, there's a great saying that I love that you can only control the controllables. So what that means is I had no control over this. I had to self-isolate. I've been told I had to, so I had to do it. What I can control is my mindset on how I approach that. No one else can change that, only me. So the first thing I did was to say, well, look, this is going to be a great positive opportunity for me to catch up on some work. I'm going to have less distractions. So the next thing I did was to set myself a big goal. I knew I had a, a week to achieve it, so it was already smart in that sense that it was time bound, but I wanted to make it specific, measurable, achievable and realistic. So I, I listed all the things I wanted to achieve and I had the time frame to do that and they were, they were very realistic. So I, I had that goal that I was working towards. Then what I did was to break it down into small chunks, as the old, the old saying, if you break it down into 100 pieces and improve each piece by 1%, you're going to have 100% improvement at the end of it. So, so break those, those tasks down into little chunks and, and look at that, that smaller goal that you're working towards. And it, it gives you just an easier way to get through the day. You can tick off things a lot easier and, and quicker. So make sure they are achievable and they are very realistic because, it, as I say, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's, it's a really good way to see those, those progressions uh, coming along. Next thing that I think is really important is, is stay in touch with your team. You know, if, if you're fortunate enough to have a team working around, dial into them on a regular basis. We've all got Zoom or Teams now, so we can all do it. But one, it just gives you that interaction and gives you a little pick, pick up when you're feeling a bit down or a bit, a bit depressed by it all. But two, you can get them to hold you accountable. So say, you know, oh, I'll speak to you again at lunch. By then I'm hoping to have done this, this and this. At lunchtime, yeah, I did this, this and this. I also managed to do this. Or I did this and this, but I didn't get around to this. And have a chat about why and what it was. And it just, just sharing those problems is, is a great way to get around this. So, you know, that's basically the, the things that got me through it. The, the other thing I should say is, you know, make sure you take a, take a break every now and again. Don't just sit at the desk all day long or wherever you sat working. Get up, stretch your legs, even if you've only got a small space to walk around. Just do it, get the blood flow, make yourself a coffee, have a five minutes away. And sometimes just stepping away clears your brain and, and, and you know, gets you thinking about how you can do things differently. I quite often find, um, not that you could do it during self-isolation, but if I'm going for a run, suddenly all the solutions that I've been looking for for the last two hours sat at my desk come to me because I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going for a, the, the motions of going for a run. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. Um, I certainly achieved a hell of a lot in the last week and, and found it a very positive um, and, and rewarding experience in terms of the amount of work I've got done. I found it incredibly boring not being able to meet and talk to people in, in the way that I'd like to do, so it's not easy, I appreciate that, but try and make the most out of it. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope this has been useful and I'll speak to you again soon.